Hello, Christina Resso. Thanks for tuning in and happy Hump Wednesday to each and every one of you. I hope you all are doing well. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video and hit that notification bell as well as sharing with your friends. So I came across a story with uh, Matt Walsh and his uh, so-called opponent, this major Tory, he's a so-called Black Guns Manor type of deal. And I actually saw this fella last summer at CPAC in Dallas. So I thought it was more because he's also been to Fox Soul and other black, so-called black channels. Um that type of deal okay and so um he had a problem with matt walsh's tweet that white people experience <laughs> slavery as well and the reason i believe and matt walsh won't say it but i will is that people of african descent can't lay let excuse me can't let slavery go especially in this country go back to my videos i've even asked africans themselves would black americans because we're not african-american right there's no african to us even in colonized countries now i can speak spanish but i can't speak french and i don't know an african mother's tongue and visiting different countries in the world and having you know teaching students from several over maybe 20 different countries they call me american because that's what i am i'll say what because my this is not my permanent home i'm uh, my home is with the lord jesus Going back to the story. So this guy had a supposedly a conservative, this is Major Tory, whatever his name is, had a problem with, with Matt Walsh's argument because they didn't tell the, uh, the the true story about slavery. Starting with that stupid movie, uh, Roots, found out that wasn't true. And then when I found out that biracials and black Americans so-called own slaves themselves because that's what they teach all, all blacks are the own slaves a whites own slaves blacks were in slavery and the white people are the devil on all this other crap until you find out the truth So I'm going to go into uh, this and I'm going to have closing arguments that, you know, I try to be, uh, I'll try to be as brief as possible, but this is ridiculous. And there is a, um, a so-called white nationalist, which doesn't work. Black nationalism doesn't work as well. Because after, and, I, and, I, and I'll tell you why, this, and I'll simplify it as, as best I can. When Lincoln signed the, um, the Esquan, Esquan, you know what I'm talking about, proclamation. The, the proclamation bill. And black people should be thankful that for that because white man globally abolished slavery in addition to this country also signed the document to abolish Jim Crow and introduce integration because it wasn't it wasn't equality it was integration they wanted to his Lincoln's idea one of my favorite presidents in this country in addition to Trump and others his idea 
was to abolish slavery after signing this proclamation, the Gettysburg Address or whatever, and send the original Africans back to Niger uh, not Nigeria, Liberia, excuse me, where he thought a lot of black immigrants came from. Then you have someone like Marcus Garvey and says Jamaican descent person has nothing to do with America, black America at all. Wanted to do the same thing. Now you got these people today, white nationalists, uh, like a uh, Jared Taylor, a uh, Richard Spencer, and other idiots, uh, a black uh, idiot that was recently arrested due to being a sugar booty that sodomized a man by force at gunpoint. Gazi, Bo, Hozo, or whatever. He wasn't even a person that could communicate. Right? It does not work. Especially in this country. White and black nationalism of any sort of because you hate somebody does not work on a global scale. Now, if you choose to segregate yourself and live in a so-called, you know, black or white, all-white neighborhood or whatever, go ahead. But as far as doing it on a global scale, it's not going to work in this country. Look at Africa. You got Chinese immigrants coming in. You got Africans coming in in Italy. I mean, you heard the recent story about this one uh, African calling disabled guy calling a uh, disrespect. Well, I wouldn't say it's disrespectful. Well, I shouldn't say that. Excuse me. Calling this man, woman, beautiful, and he lost it and killed the guy. Nigerian immigrant in Italy. So it does not work. I'm going to go ahead and read this. For the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and read this story and I'll be finished. Matt Walsh. Here's the story on Twitter. All right. Well, over 1 million whites were enslaved in Africa between the 18th and 19th century, then inducted and sold by the Muslim pirates who raided Europe for the slaves for a hundred years and the school system totally erased this. Of course, because I never knew about this. I knew white people were slaves and I knew about the Irish um, being um, enslaved, but I only knew about the uh, English part. I knew Arabs um, were also slaves, but I did not, I never knew that there were blacks owning other blacks because the thing about slavery and i said all across the board and i've said this before it's more about an economic issue a deal not even an issue economic deal than anything else was it morally wrong of course all across the board, not only in this country, but America was one of the first countries, well, one of the main countries besides uh, the UK, that uh, helped abolish slavery. And again, due to white men, yet this country wants to hate them. Let me continue. His response, probably to this major Tory guy, of course, White people were enslaved in other parts of Africa, he means North Africa, too, and across the world for centuries, including the North Africa, uh, yeah, North America, where white servants were shipped. I'm guessing this is, these were Irish ancestries. He continues, slavery in America didn't didn't begin 
in 1619. No, it didn't. He's right about that. White children were being kidnapped and sold into servitude. Again, I'm guessing these were Irish immigrants. In the colonies before that. And, of course, I got a... I hate reading really small print. Forgive me, folks. That's why I'll be grateful when I get my cataracts. It'll be over and done with by next month. Of course, slavery existed in America for hundreds of years. Okay. Of uh, prior to Europeans ever settling foot here, Indian tribes all practice slavery as well. everybody because it was an economic issue it was a business everybody and their mom experienced slavery i'm not gonna finish reading that only people of african descent can't let it go everybody and their mom experienced slavery they were either owners or they were a part of it I can't share that. I can't talk about this with my family. The same reason I can't talk about how Dr. King himself was trash. But uh, that's all I have for you folks. I'm, I'm running out of it because I thought this, I, I, I was going to say this story was going to be brief. But I thank you all for supporting me for this long, and I'll try to respond to your, <clears throat> I'm sorry, your your um, questions or whatever you have for me. If you're going to be disrespect, you, respectful, excuse me, if you're going to be disrespectful, I'm going to challenge you with two questions. Number one, did you hear the entire video? Number two, don't listen to my content. It's not for you. Christina Red Soul, pray for our nation, pray for our brothers and sisters in the persecuted church. And I'll talk to you super soon. Good night.